Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bowles Central. I thought I'd do another uh, writing advice video for you guys, for you writers out there. Just because this is Jeff Bowles Central and I get to do whatever I want. I get to do things that uh, that I care about and I definitely do care about writing. Um, I suppose I should give my credentials again. <laughs> Just in case someone sees us like, what the hell does he know? Uh, let's see. I've been writing for about 15 years now. I've published uh, 25 or 30 short stories and nonfiction pieces. I've published three short story collections. I just recently published um, my first novel. So I know a little. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a big shot. I'm not anything at all special, but I know a little. So I thought I'd offer advice. Kind of a journeyman writer, not 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 a beginner, but definitely not an expert. So, um, I thought I'd talk about rejection because rejection is a thing that kind of hurts everybody, but especially a new writer, someone who is like, say, just wrote their first book or just wrote their first short story, and they've sent it off to a publisher, or if they've written a book, maybe they send it to an agent. And it never really occurs to the mind of a beginner, because I know it didn't occur to me, that not everybody's going to like your writing. <laughs> it just doesn't occur to us. I don't know. We just kind of assume I'm the best that's ever been. You know, everybody's going to love what I do. And that's not the case. In fact, odds are, if you're just starting out, you're probably not, you're not there yet. You probably have some practice. It took me... Oh man, like five or six years before I ever, before I felt like pretty competent at it. Maybe seven years before I felt like I was pretty good at it, you know. Um, and so what's going to happen is you're going to write your first thing. And let me tell you something. Only the brave do this. So if you've already done this or you're fixing to do it, consider yourself brave. Man, I'll give you, I'll give you a round of applause because... There's a lot of people who want to be writers, but there's very few people who actually get off their ass and do it. So if that's you, applause. If it's not you, try it. Give it a shot. Write something. Send it somewhere. Get it published. Get it properly published. I don't have anything against self-publishing. I've done a lot of self-publishing. But, but, if you can get stuff placed in magazines, anthologies, if you can actually get a book deal, man, you, <laughs> I mean, that's it. That's the dream. You're living the dream. Maybe it's not all it's cracked up to be all the time, but you're living the dream, okay? That's what we all want. So the first thing you're going to get is a mountain, and I mean a mountain of rejections. You're going to get a 100 rejections for every acceptance, and it's going to sting every single time. You're going to take it personally. You're going to spit and scream and stomp around. I mean, this, I'm describing my behavior. <laughs> Maybe not anymore. Like, I I'm a much more graceful uh, loser now. But it, it's, not always, it's not always so fun to get rejected. I think anybody who's actually been rejected can tell you that, right? Um, but it's part of the process. It's part of the job. Writers get rejected. Even, even big time writers who've been around 20, 30 years, they still get rejected. They still do. And so it's, it's a thing that never really goes away. The important thing to remember, don't take it personal. These people aren't out there trolling you. Okay. They're not out there trying to make you feel bad. They're not out there to diminish you or your work or anything like that. They are literally acting as proxies for the reader. That's it. They read something, they say, is this any good? And if yes, would my readers like it? And if yes, I buy it. You know what I mean? Just remember that rejection makes you better. Failure makes you stronger for the most part. You know, it's an old truth, but it is, it is a truth, especially when it comes to creative work, especially when it comes to writing, you know? So don't take it personally when it happens and don't stop. Don't stop. Don't ever stop the dream, man. Don't ever stop the dream.
even if you have to take time off. I'm okay with that. I was a writer who got really, really burned out a few years ago, and I had to stop for a little while. And that's okay. But don't ever quit. If you love doing this on any level, if you're committed to becoming the writer, the author that you want to become, don't quit. And also, maybe a little humility. Maybe realize, okay, maybe I'm not the greatest writer. Maybe I'm not an instant success. Maybe I'm not a millionaire. Maybe I'm not Stephen King. Do you know Stephen King, before he was Stephen King, he kept a nail on his wall. Like he nailed a nail onto his wall. And every single rejection he got, and they were paper rejections back then. Now they'll be email. <laughs> so you can print them out and do this, I guess, if you want to. Every single rejection, he just stuck it right on that nail. Every single one. And he submitted a lot. It's this huge stack of rejection just protruding from his wall so that he doesn't forget. You know what I mean? That's the attitude. Adopt the attitude of a warrior. Yeah, 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 yeah. Semper Fi. That's what I say. So, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about rejection. Kind of accept it as a given. Learn to roll with it. Try not to take it personally. And uh, keep trying. Keep at it. That's what I got to say. Keep at your dreams. Very, very, very few people are bestsellers the first time out. That, that's a rarity. And so is, by the way, bestseller status. And so is, by the way, millionaire, bestselling author, New York Times. But it doesn't matter. If you're in this for fame and glory, you're going to find out eventually, probably, that it's got to be for you. It's got to be because you have something to say. You have a voice. You've got something to express. This is your art. This is your heart on your sleeve. Show it to people. Don't hide your shit. <laughs> Don't hide your awesomeness. Don't hide any of it. Show it to people. Let people see it. Art is useless unless we show it to people. So, that said, like and subscribe to Jeff Bowles Central. Uh, uh, weirdness, comedy, movies, video games, music, all sorts of crap. It's crap, but it's good crap, mostly. Bye. Apparently you shouldn't. She's speaking an ancient Egyptian. Oh, there she is again. It didn't go away. <laughs> anyway, God's body. This is my book. This is a this is a good book, and it's been edited, unlike this video. And, uh, you know, no, that was just a, a quirky little <laughs> fun note. Seeing okay. if people pay attention. Yeah. So this is God's body novel of the apocalypse. It's really, really funny. It's pulpy. It's, 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 it's dark. really good. It's really cool. It's an experience in itself. Plus it took both of us. Oh, you want to take credit for my book now? <laughs> You want uh, to take credit from my book no, now? I actually don't. She actually did come up with, with a lot of the ideas, but she didn't write it. No, I didn't. No, she didn't write it. Not at all. No. Subscribe! <laughs>